welcome to Mac Vidya. Today we will learn about another non-traditional welding technique known as the laser beam welding. So what is a laser? Laser is actually an acronym of the light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Now what does this mean? Actually a laser device uh, is nothing but an optical transducer which converts electric energy into a highly coherent light source. When this concentrated light falls on the welding zone, it melts the fing edges which results in welding. Now first let us try to understand the physics behind laser. We know that electrons exist in different states def depending on their energy levels. Suppose an electron is in the ground state as seen in the screen. Now if we give it some energy, say in the form of heat or electricity, the electron will jump to a higher state depending on how much energy it has taken. Now it cannot stay in that uh, high energy level for long. So soon this electron will release uh, back this energy and it will come back to the ground state. Now while doing this, it will lose some energy in the form of light packets known as photons. So just imagine when millions of electrons will do this same action, how much energy will be generated. It will be quite large. So to cre create a laser beam, we will use a ru ruby crystal. This is our ruby crystal. Now we will use high power flash lamps to, to throw light energy in the crystal. And as a result of this, the electrons which are in lower energy states will take this energy and start jumping to higher energy states. Now, after some time while coming back to the ground state, they will release the light energy in the form of photons. This light is passed through a lens which in turn creates a concentrated light ray called laser. This light ray uh, falls on the object and does the welding. Now let us try to see with, an, uh, with a simple animation how the laser beam welding takes place. So first we will bring the workpiece and clamp, clamp it in the work table. Then the ruby crystal along with the flash lamps are introduced. The lamps are connected to a power source which ignites the lamps. Now light from the lamps will fall directly on the crystal. This will excite the electrons and the photons which will be generated by a process as explained earlier. Now the photons will be made to fall on a lens which converges the scattered light rays and makes them fall on the fang region. The highly concentrated light ray gets converted to heat energy and it melts the fang edges. The entire setup can be moved along the length of the fang edges. Here we can use uh, shielding gases like argon, helium, uh, neon etc in order to prevent oxidation and regarding filler rods usually we do not use them uh, in, in this kind of welding so basically to summarize here uh, here we uh, here we convert the electrical energy to a light energy and finally to heat energy to melt the fang ed edges welding speed of various ranges uh, can be obtained up to a depth of, a depth of uh, say uh, 19 to 20 mm one good thing about the laser beam welding is that it produces high quality weld with high penetration and due to these advantages it has wide spread application in various uh, sectors. So this was all about the laser beam welding for more such informative videos please subscribe Mac Vidya. Thank you.